But in this video, I'm going to give you an update of all the projects that I'm working on and where they're going and in what order I'm going to be doing them in. Um, and also the challenges that have slowed some of these projects down. And one of those is, as you can see, uh, I'm in a new garage. So we've moved house. Um, I've changed my main job as well. So my day job. So I'm still doing this in the evenings and weekends. But I've got a much better facility in this garage where I've got a clean work area, a dirty work area and the milling machine. So what's all the projects all about? The main focus is on renewable energy. So the milling machine has been running on solar energy for quite some time now where it's got its own battery pack there uh, charged by a 50 watt solar cell and that's all it really needs. So the ultimate project at the moment is the MGF electric vehicle conversion and that is the multiple uh, motor, 24 motor drive in the MGF um, to just, just to power that up. It won't have huge batteries, it's just maybe 30, 40, 50 mile range at the moment just for testing um, and I may even take it on a track day or something like that just to see how it performs or hill climbing, something like that. So this is where the milling machine comes in. This is why I've been upgrading the milling machine and the milling machine um, I've been converted to CNC, so the X and Y axis are CNC and they're brushless DC motors running on 12 volts and I'll be getting the Z axis going with the spindle motor as well, so the spindle motor will be uh, running on a similar sort of voltage uh, and they are brushless DC motors from O-Drive so uh, I'll leave the link in the description for them if you want to have a look up that. But at the moment, the spindle motor is a 240 volt uh, spindle motor but I've got a 1000 watt pure sine wave inverter up here that converts from 12 volts to 240 volts AC, uh, 50 hertz, with a pure sine wave, so it's nice and smooth uh, for running the mill. But also, the power from that runs the septic tank pump, which is the air blower that blows the chips away and keeps the head cool when it's milling. There's plenty of videos if you're interested in the milling machine to take a look at about how I made it, how I made each element, and how it all goes together, plus the program inside of it for the box that's up here as well. You've probably also seen that I've been doing some uh, other solar energy projects, so the solar pool heater, uh, which was the first version, comparing a homemade solar panel with a purchased solar panel, and then now from all the comments that people have put on the solar panel project, creating a new solar panel, solar panel version 2, to bring all them comments together and see if I can build the ultimate um, homemade solar panel for heating our pool up. So before I get on to where I am with the MGF project, let's take a look around the garage. So this is the clean work area, I say clean, this is where I sprayed the second solar pool heater. Uh, then you've got all, all my tools, lighting, things like that on this side. Then I've got the milling machine obviously, and it's programmable element there. I want a TVR Cerber wing mirror, but that's for another story. My pure sine wave inverter that runs the milling machine and a number of tools on the bench. The septic tank blower that I use, very very quiet, to blow the chips away in the milling machine. Uh, the battery pack, that's um, a load of UPS batteries that are sitting in there with fuses and a solar energy charger and some pretty chunky cables going up to the 1000 uh, watt pure sine wave inverter and these are uh, jump cables because they're nice and thick. Then you have the dirty workbench so this is a hacking and bashing, not very big but the garage isn't that big in any case. Uh, these power sockets come from the pure sine wave inverter up there. Got all my tools on a, a tool ball which is handy. Uh, some storage under the bench, also a battery, 12 volt battery uh, and a a winch, a powered winch, which is really handy for getting the MGF on and off the trailer. Roll toolboxes on wheels, because I need to get them out of the way sometimes. Uh, engine hoist as well. And things like that, so it's a nice little setup. Oh, and I've got my own fridge in here as well. Oh, and a coffee machine. You need a coffee machine. So, where am I at with the MGF project then? Well, let's have a look. All the bits at the moment are in here, so I've got the gears, parts that I've manually machined out, and this is the reason why I'm making the uh, milling machine a CNC, is because these take six hours each to manually machine. It's all the setting up of the centre, the rotary table and everything else. All the bearings, 
cables, heat sink, motors as well. So you've got the 24 uh, radio control boat motors. They're all water cooled. So we've got those as well. Uh, the battery packs are hiding somewhere. Uh, and then you've got the other gears as well for them. They're nylon gears with 30% glass fill. Charger there as well uh, to charge the batteries up. Like I say, I'm only going to have about 30 miles, 40 miles of, of battery on the car because I want to keep it nice and light at the moment just for testing and to keep the cost down as well. Uh, then I've got the old motor speed controller and the new motor speed controllers as well. Although these are just standard pulse width modulation input brushless DC motor controllers. Uh, I'm actually looking at using the O drive which is the same system on the CNC machine on the MGF as well so I can keep these in phase as well and actually have a sensor on there a rotary encoder on each one to keep it all in sync as you engage and disengage the motors so the MGF now is on a new trailer that I purchased just before moving and I've had to lower the mud guard slightly and fit new reflectors plus revamp the number plate board. The good thing with this trailer is it's actually got a braking system so it can take a, a heavier load and it's all still framed as well. So that's ideal for the MGF. And I've also fitted a brand new detachable tow bar to the Vectra. Also I've got this little battery pack that I plug a wireless transmitting camera into and I've just stuck a magnetic mount under this camera so I can attach it to the MGF while I'm driving and that transmits it to the Vectra if I'm doing long distances. Really handy if you want to overtake without worrying about the size of the trailer. So I'll plug the power in for that so it's transmitting to the monitor in front. Raise up the front of the trailer and then see how close I can get it. I know the monitor's upside down but it's easier to mount like that. Also I'll be using the camera later on in the milling machine project. Ah, spawn. Also the electrics are completely hidden as well. So the MGF needs a little bit of a tidy up, but it has been sitting for quite some time. Also before we moved house, I removed the gearbox from the back and fitted it into the front just to distribute the weight a little bit better on the trailer. But that shouldn't be a problem once all the kit's in the MGF. Yeah, that's leaking. Good job I've got some spill sheets. Oh, and some bolts. I'm looking to make it as lightweight as possible as well. So uh, remove as much as I can. There's not much in the front here, obviously, that you can remove. But there is a radiator behind here that I might not need. Depends how, how much water needs to cool their motors. But we'll find out about that in any case and probably ultimately put some of the batteries in the front here for the power unit and have thick uh, cables going back just to distribute the weight evenly. So what else have I been getting up to? Ah, uh, well, there's, uh, there's the girl's car that's been slightly modified. But I'll, I'll have to go into that at a later date. There's the garden table which I'll have to move, and that's in another video. In fact, I'll stand it up. And then we've got the new solar pool heater. 
that I'm just currently editing the video on and the old solar pool heater and they're both running through this pump down here that it was running on last year straight out the bottom of the pool so the pool is just sitting under 24 degrees C uh, outside temperature is 23 degrees C almost uh, one of the panels is generating 487 watts and the other 375 watts although they both perform differently throughout the day I'll have to do another comparison video after I've done the build video so I could put this transmitting camera to good use where I've just tested it and it transmits the image quite nicely through to the monitor next to the PC so that means I'll be able to do some video editing and see the progress of the CNC machine and this is my new PC that I'm currently doing some video editing for the solar pool heater version 2 and that's the PC there, which is thanks to Brunel Computer Services Limited for building this machine for me. And eventually this will be connected to a bank of batteries charged by a solar panel, not only so I've got a UPS uh, just in case of power failure, but also that it's 100% renewable. So feel free to leave some comments in the comments section and uh, ask any questions about the projects and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you very much. Right, so this is a project, a project, this isn't a project, this is a video of me talking about projects. Right, so this is an update of all the projects that I'm going to get a bit of a little 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 bit